have a look around and try to discover yourself in the midst of noun and noun and noun. The world on the one hand and your head on the other are full of nouns, are full of what we understand as nouns. That's why in the list of parts of speech, noun comes first. What about other parts of speech? They don't exist without the presence of noun. That part is very interesting. This is I.H. Shehan and this is Advanced English session number 24 of Language Mantra channel. Today we are supposed to discuss the noun clause. So what is a noun clause? Noun clause is a clause and we have discussed what a clause is. So noun clause is a clause that serves the function of a noun. Make it clear. Noun is a single word. Whereas noun clause is a combination of words, maybe five words, six words, and all of them are not noun. For example, that you told me a lie. One, two, three, four, five, six words are there. There are six words and there are more than say three or four parts of speech. They come together to serve the purpose of a noun. So that's why this is called a noun clause. So there is not much difference between the function of a noun and the function of a noun clause. That is so easy. So if you understand noun, noun clause is a step ahead. This is so simple. Now, let's see the kind of functions that a noun clause serves. This is uh, same as the function of a noun. Let's see. Noun and noun clause serves the purpose of a subject in a sentence. It can be a subject in a sentence. Number two, it can be an object in a sentence. Number three, it can be object of a preposition. And number four, it can be a complement to a noun. There may be other functions also, but these are perhaps the most important functions. So let's see one by one. Number one, function of a noun clause, subject of a sentence. That means noun clause becomes the subject of a sentence. How? For example, that you told me a lie was detected later. That you told me a lie was detected later. Some grammarians say that this that is not enough. They prefer the fact that. We don't have any objection. You can use the fact that. The fact that you told me a lie was detected later. So underlying part is noun clause. This is part of a sentence. And this is a subordinate clause. So how do we know that this is a noun clause? There is a simple form of test. You can just uh, have a look at that. That you told me a lie was detected later. What was detected later? If you try to find an answer to this question, answer must be a noun. What was detected later? That means something was detected later and that something is that you told me a lie. So something is equal to that you told me a lie. Something is a noun. So that you told me a lie is obviously a noun. So this is a fact that is explained here. That you told me a lie is a fact. The fact was detected later. Something was detected later. 
this was detected later, it was detected later. In all the cases, you see the subject is either a noun or a pronoun, and noun is equal to a pronoun. So there is no question, no doubt, no confusion that this part serves the function of a noun. That you told me a lie was detected later. That you told me a lie is a, is a noun clause. Number two, when the president will come is not known. What is not known? It is not known. Something is not known. The time is not known. The place is not known. You see, all the subjects I substitute are either noun or pronoun. It is not known. It is pronoun. And noun and pronoun are almost the same. We can substitute. So here again, when the president will come is not known. What is not known? The time is not known. Here, what is not known? The fact is not known. So you see, when the president will come, this serves the purpose of a noun because this explains a fact in that case, this again becomes a noun clause and they serves the purpose of a subject in a sentence. Now come to the next point that is object of a sentence. Everybody knows that you are honest. Everybody knows. What does everybody know? Everybody knows something. Everybody knows your character. And what is your character? That you are honest. So everybody knows your character. So your character is equal to that you are honest. So everybody knows your character. There, your character is object there. And here in this sentence, that you are honest is the object part. I think uh, this becomes uh, easier now. Now, next one, the dog detected where the smoke was coming from. The dog detected, what did the dog detect? The dog detected where the smoke was coming from. Make it smaller. The dog detected the place. And place is a noun. Therefore, place is equal to where the smoke was coming from. Got it? So simple. If you can replace a clause by, you know, it, this, that, something, time, place, etc., then it becomes, if you can do it, then it becomes noun clause. Very simple. Now we have the third part, object of a preposition. This part is almost the same, but if there is a preposition in that case, that object part belong to the preposition. That is something you must remember. I have no knowledge of where he is. I have no knowledge of what? Of where he is. So where he is, this is considered to be the object of the preposition of here. Now, next one, Jim is familiar with how the patients behave. Maybe Jim is a doctor and he handles a particular type of patients and he knows how they behave. So Jim is familiar with how the patients behave. Jim is familiar with what? How the patient behaves. That means the behavior of the patient. In that case, how the patient behaves is a noun clause and that noun clause is an object, an object of the preposition with. You must remember, whenever you have a preposition and that is followed by an object, that object officially belongs to that preposition. Now come to number four. Compliment trainer. What is a compliment? Compliment is, uh, you know, in a sentence when subject and object, object with within quote, because uh, compliment is compliment, is, is not object. But for the time being, I use the word object. When the subject and object becomes one and inseparable, 
In that case, the object is called complement. For example, I am a doctor. Now what happens? I and doctor, these two things are inseparable. In this case also, the fact is C is absconding. The fact is C is absconding. Now, this fact, what is the fact? That C is abs abs absconding. It looks like an object, but it is not an object. It is a complement. And complement normally comes with this verb, to be a verb. Otherwise, it's almost the same with other verbs. But when there is to be a verb, and if there is something like an object, and if it has something to do with the subject, in that case, you can say that this is the complementary noun, the fact. Because he, C is absconding the, this part. C is absconding this part is clarifying the fact. So I am a doctor. Doctor clarifies I. Here, C is absconding clarifies the fact. In that case, this is called complement. And that's what we anticipated. That's what we anticipated. What we anticipated is the same thing here. That's that is or that's what. Therefore, it is also an example of complement to a noun. So this is all about noun clause. A few things to remember here that uh, noun is equal to pronoun, there is no problem. Uh, noun clause can be replaced by it, this, then uh, something, time, place, etc. we discussed. If you can replace, then you just shut your eyes and tell that this is a noun clause. Very often, noun clause is, you know, introduced with that then how? Uh, WH uh, words like uh, which, when, where and why etc. But uh, don't uh, you know rely much on this. Um, but uh, the formula we have given, if it is, it can be substituted. It can be replaced by you know it, this, that, something. Then just sort your eyes and be sure that this is a noun clause. So this is all about we have to talk about noun clause and it will be further clear when we discuss adjective clause and adverbial clause and uh, we'll have more time on this when we compare and so uh, we come to an end of this session but uh, remember to uh, share us remember to subscribe our channel remember to like or dislike and comment if you have anything to say, we'll be glad to uh, have your responses. So, this much today. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.